Way! Hey guys, this is Hybrid Steel. Thank you very much for joining me in today's game. We're playing Landlord Super. The reason why I'm playing this game is because, well, in all fairness, I've never played it before. And it's got some good reviews. They've just done a massive update. I figured, hey, what the hell? I'll put some money into it. Seems like it's a good game. I have watched other people play this game. I'm enjoying their content with it. So I might as well just do it myself, enjoy the game, enjoy it, and I hope you guys are enjoying this series as well. And the reason why is because if I'm if I'm enjoying it, then you've got to be watching this video for some obscure reason anyway, at least. Okay. Your father's immigration documents read HMT Windrush or Displaced Persons. Alright, okay, so I'm going to be a Displaced Persons, just, just because I can, mainly. So this game was set in 1980s. To put this into perspective, this game is set in the very decade that I was born in. A lot of this stuff, excuse me, a lot of this stuff I don't remember personally, but when you look back in like history, you see all of what was going on in the 1980s. So this is set in the, in the north, so it's set just outside Liverpool. So everybody's a scouse. This is the life, eh? Hey. Hey! Do you want to fight or something? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hello. Post! M Sons. Mr. H. Abiff. Dingy Caravan. Yeah, I live in a dingy caravan. On side of street. That's me. Mr. Abiff. I am delighted to inform you that your right to buy application was approved. I can now share the terms of your mortgage agreement. Please turn over. With you in full. It is also my pleasure to attach within this letter, proceed to the end of the document, the keys to the late your late uncle's property and the notebook of which he kept on premise. Come see me if you have any further questions. I've attached a picture of our offices for your convenience and look forward to your visit. Yours in good splendor, Mitchell. Yeah, and then stamped on it is, Oi Sunshine, the property is a tip. Get in the app all as soon as possible and there might be some rental opportunities for you. I'll be in touch. Now I'm reading that as a as a southeastern because that's where I come from. But if you can imagine that as a scouse, it's all good. And that's where they okay to that. Gotcha. Congratulations on owing me money. Click total to pay me back. Remember, interest is applied each month. So I've got to basically pull my finger out and earn some cash quite like, like quite quick. One more thing. Look down at your chest of selection notebook and equip any tools once you get them. I mean, literally look down. I got my keys. All right, all right, all right. And there's the deed to the property. Oh, that's my book. Okay, that's my book. Oh, yeah. My notebook. Wow, this is like school textbooks. This is what school textbooks were like in the late 80s going 90s. These squares where you used to do math on them so you could, like, put your tens units and everything else. In. Okay, so this is 13,988. Well, I might as well just sell it. You know, I don't care. It's the magical S. I remember drawing that S in school. I think everybody used to draw that S. To put it into perspective, like, I was on the phone the other day, and I drew the magical S. And in all fairness, it's really easy, right? So the S is, it's one of those things. You draw six lines, two, three, four, five, six, right? Six lines, right? And then you turn the top one and the bottom one into a triangle, so it looks like that. And then you draw another four lines to make it look like an S. And there you go. The mystical S. The reason why it's called the mystical S, or I call it the mystical S, is no one bloody knows where it comes from. It's, it is one of those weird things that kids just start doing, and it's like, why are you doing it? I don't know. It's just cool, isn't it? Look at it, it's cool. You spray paint it and everything on people's walls. A job centre. We can help you with job hunting. We'll even provide financial support while you look for your... Okay, cool. So the job centre have got in contact. Job centres in the 80s were pretty different than what they are today. Oi, mate, get out. Scouse Jimmy. Sort off, will ya? You appear to be trying to break into my site there, sir. Look here, our kid. I got here first. You can come get your little bit after I'm done. Besides, this is if this is your site, you'd have the key, wouldn't you? I have. Hey, you really do have the key? Oh, blimey, kid. I was only trying to be a bit of a scrap to sell. You know how it is to be with the pit closed? Ain't much work about, like... So you're doing this place up or something? You uh wouldn't happen to have any work, would you? You look a little green. I could show you your ropes, you like. I'd love some help. Because I don't know nothing about building. Apart from all the stuff I've played in other games. 
Ah, that's what I thought. Like, never mind. Hey, you look like a good kid. Tell you what, you need any help with me? Come, come and team me down at the Anchor Tavern in Sheffingham. Name's Jimmy, but people call me Scouse. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, kid. Like I said, Anchor Tavern, if you need anything like half the, half the town, I'm in there most days. Anyway, I'm out of here. Toodly do. Well, it's toodle do, sorry. Peace out, Mr. Jimmy, sir. Hmm. Now, one person I did watch play this was Squirrel. Squirrel's content, because it is pretty clean. But, little door. Big door. <laughs> so, yeah, I watched him absolutely balls up. Like, six episodes in, and he didn't realise there was a giant door he could walk through. It was awesome. I have played this game a little bit before I started this playthrough, and the reason why I did it is because I megged up. You get a skip a little bit later on, and you can put stuff in the skip, and you can sell it off, and you get some money for it. It's all good. Just don't put dirt in it, because as soon as you line it with dirt, that's it. The game stops working, uh, because it's lined with dirt, and the dirt doesn't sell, and you can't get the dirt out, which sucks. So yeah, um, I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing roughly. We're just going to hop down into town and uh, go for a wander. The downside is because we've got no money, we have to walk. On the plus side, you know, bus fares are only 10p. And that cooker is there. So that's going in my house. Um, I did go through a point where I was selling stuff. And it was like, hey, this will be alright. I could sell this and I could sell this. And like, uh, or I could just keep it and I could put it into the house. So there's a fridge freezer down there and a sofa. We'll have that a bit later on as well. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this up, we're going to walk this all the way to the scrapyard, and we're going to flog it, because it just means I've got more stuff that I can sell. This is a tenner, this is like a hundred bus fares. I'm all good with that. So I, feel, I sort of figured, instead of trying to put on like a show of, you know, uh, you know, the bits and pieces, I sort of tried to figure, if I was a bit more sort of relaxed, more common, then you sort of get the feeling of who I really am. Now, a lot of the time I speak on my live streams, I talk like this. And in my videos, I normally speak with a little bit better of an accent. And the reason why is because I like to articulate and I like to pronounce my stuff. But, in all fairness, I sound a little bit like a douchebag. So I sort of figured, screw it, I'll just talk how I normally damn. And then we'll go from there. Scrapyard, then we'll go job centre. That's a big telly for a little man. Totters. Whoop, whoop. Jeep. What would you... Oh, okay. Cars, maybe? Right, okay, I'm just going to drop this here. Do our introductory to Totter. Scrap Merchant. Wait, hey, now there's a gaddy I've never seen before. Name's Totter and there's old Bonnie lad. Next to me is Sixpence. Ah, oh, the horse. Okay. So there's a couple of little references. I'll have a chat with you in a second about them. We're Scrap Merchants, so you might have heard me blaring me on each morning. Sorry about that. The lass has got... Yeah, see, uh, but a lass. Lass. That's, she's a girl, right? I'm not sure why Squirrel kept saying it was a man. Talking of, if you've got any scrap to sell, just plonk it down on the tarpaulin next to me, pet, and then we can talk about a price. There we go. Anyways, belt in to see a new face. We don't get many in Toon now these days. Toon, by the way, is town. If you're American and you don't understand the slang, let me know in the comment section below. I'll see what I can do for you. Hey, uh, how much for that telly? Tenner? Tenner? Ten pads! All good. Sounds fair, it's all good. So that, that's 100 bus fares. I'm all right there. Awesome. Okay, so, reference number one, totter and a horse. There's two references in this place. Numero uno is the fact it's called Totter's Scrap Merchants, which is very close to Trotter's Independent Traders from Only Fools and Horses. Number two, she's using a horse and wagon in the, in the, in the early 80s. I mean, she's been doing this for a while. Scrap Merchants used to use horse and wagon instead of a, a car. This would be a reference to Steptoe and some. Something along that sort of lines. And we'll take that as well. Hey, hey, hey! Shut that on there. I'll have a couple of extra quid off you, please. Cheers very much. Tea fitty. Awesome. Hey, can we actually just have a chat? Just quick. Tell me more about Scrap Trade. It's a trade, right? Me and Sixpence been out for the real old time now. Originally took over from the late... From me late da. Dad. But it's just kind of stuck, you know. Anyway, like I say to you, bring me scrap we find lying around. Could be wood, iron, or even old toilets. I'll give you proper cash for it the same day. Scrap is easy, though, to find. And each time seasons change, radgies pass through the town and dump all their old stuff here. Basically, people just dump their crap. We call them fly tippers nowadays. Get something like a wheelbarrow, you can bring me a squat. Okay, cool. So it's seasonal. And that's something to take into consideration. This game is constantly rolling a little bit in during the seasons. So if you want to pick up more scrap, you just wait until the season changes. At the moment, I think we're in spring or summer. 
So obviously next one's going to be autumn, and when that changes, we get more scrap laying around the town. Or toon, so to speak. Right. Another person! Yeah. Cash Moran. Hello, sir. How can I help you? How does... Uh, it's a job centre. I know our job centre. Job centre nowadays, you get lots of people sitting behind desks telling you you're not doing a good enough job to get a job, and then they pay a little bit of money and tell you to go into a course for 12 weeks to better yourself so you can get a better job opportunity. In the 80s to 90s, this was the job centre. Big green boards with handwritten cards on them saying, you got, you want this job, come and get it, basically. That was how job something's worked. Looking for an open-minded individual to help move items. Yeah, we'll take it. We need job, we need money. Yeah. What up, Winston? Delivery driver. Oi! Right. That's my job, that is. I got here first. Yeah, how can you be so yeah, cruel, yeah, man? Yeah, yeah. I'd have grabbed yeah, it myself yeah, if I hadn't been busy helping Tasman unblock her pipes. Oh, yeah. yeah Oi, yeah, not yeah, in that yeah, way, you yeah, filthy yeah, bugger. Yeah, yeah, the anchor yeah, tavern yeah, needed yeah, some maintenance, yeah, and I'm a pretty yeah, handy yeah, plumber yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, if I wasn't being such a model citizen, I'd have had to come and grab that job me uh, messing. Yeah, I'm yeah, not sure yeah, what messing yeah, is. Yeah, if you're yeah, from yeah, up north, yeah. let me know what messing means. If it's still being used to this day. Can't pay, I'm desperate. Give us the job, eh? You know what? Go on, then. Clean license, you must be new here. I'm the fella what put the Brum into Birmingham. <clears throat> right. So the reason why I put Brum into Birmingham, in the UK, we call people who come from Birmingham, Brummies. There you go. It's Brummy land. Anyways, okay, I'll, yeah, you can have the job. I don't mind. I, do, I can't drive. I haven't got a car. I've got a caravan. I ain't got a car, so I can't even move me house. Oh, thanks, man. You saved me there. You ain't going to regret this, I swear. Not a problem, sir. I didn't see it. They've got sc oh, filing cabinets, pallets. See, when we get the, if we get a wheelbarrow at some point, we're going to pick up all this little stuff and just take it to her. It should be all right. It's all good in the hood. All right, cool. Hi. Hey, up. you're the fellow who at Winston out, right? Well, yeah, I'm new in town. Well, you've done me a big favour there, mate. I'm desperate for a driver. Couldn't make deliveries without one. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? Talking of, I sent Winston over to the plot of the land for you. He's dropped off a skip as a thank you. You fill that thing up with any junk you want and get rid of it, and we'll empty it on the... Oh, cool. See it, like, So I was talking about a skip a little bit earlier. Don't put don't put hardcore dirt in the bottom of it. It screws, it up, it screws up the game, and you have to restart the whole game again. The anchor. Yay. Right. Hello. You right there, geezer? What do you want? I'll uh, hear about the job you posted. Finally, someone else who's keen to earn a few bob. Here's the deal then. Old Sheffingham Council has condemned this place. So I'd say it's about time we got in there and took a look at it. Uh, took a bit for our, took our little bit, eh? Yeah. What's that look for? It's enterprising work I'm offering. Mrs. Thatcher would be proud. Sure, the only annoying thing is this is not strictly legal. Well, that's the only annoying thing. So how's about it? You want to help out old scouts? See what we can strip out of this old place? Yeah, sure. Let's go nicking, shall we? Ah, oh, sound kidder. Right, I've spotted a few bits and bobs we could hold, uh, get hold of inside. Watch out, I'll just get this place open. Oh, flipping it, me back's gone. Looks a bit painful there, mate. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. I'm in no state to be lugging scrap about. You'll have to do the work, kidder. Yeah, all right. Look, it's real simple. You just need to get free, grab free scrap, then chuck the scrap into my wheelbarrow. Right, I'm going to take a breather here. You come back to me when you get lost, what do you do? All right, cool. So I've just got to pick up all the crud. So they made this they made this mission pretty simple. Pick up crap. There we go. Ah, spot on, spot on. Yeah, I, I broke the sink though. Well, normally I can't pay it to the weight at the scrapyard, but I'll get the money back to you post first thing tomorrow morning. Though there would be more to weigh in if you hadn't been so damn clumsy. I wasn't clumsy, I pushed the G button like it always tells me to. I hit the G spot right on the keyboard and boom, you know, me me sink split. Not much else going around here today, the tanker out. The anchor tavern is open for midday, but if I were you, then I could just go to bed. No use feeling full home when there's, uh, and there might be some work popping up at the job centre tomorrow. Good point. What I want to do is I want to I want to take some more stuff to the scrapper, because it's like, it's money. Now, money's not easy to come by when you haven't got a job. And one of the things about this game is it is true to just, like, uh, you have to do a lot of scrapping. You have to be picking up a lot of stuff and moving it around, so... Making free cash. This is literally the only way to do it. So that's what I'm going to do. I think most of my time in this game is going to be spent like taking stuff and then just flogging it and see where we go. And like I said, I've already given this game a little whirl and uh, seen what I can do with it and see where we go and so on and so forth. So I know a little bit about where I'm going and what I'm doing. But it was just my stupidity. I put something in the scrap and just didn't want to go in there. And then it just stopped working. 
basically. I couldn't sell anything in my skip. My skip was full of crud. And it just wouldn't sell. So I literally have to start the game again just because of that one mess up. So we're just going on a bit of a hoard at the moment. Because when I get my, uh, when I get the wheelbarrow, we can come back and get this stuff. I'm going to lug this up the top of the hill. Take this back to home. And then, um, yeah, we're almost finished for the day. The energy is flowing through my veins. But we'll get there. And all I have to do is bring the toilet with me next time I come down here and we're all right. And then we can just come down here with the wheelbarrow, pick up what we need. And we can hop back to the uh, site and start looking at how to do stuff. So this I'm keeping. I'm keeping this cabinet because we can put it in the house when we get around to actually renovating it. For the time being, everything that we're doing is just being earning money. That's all we need to do. What up, Winston? Hey, up, man. Look, I know we had a bit of a, a, a falling out or whatever, but you really helped me out. So thanks a bunch, man. Not a problem, dude. The skip should be unloaded daily, but you should, uh, but use, but so you've got an idea of how this works. Just tell me when you're ready. You're really done. I'll head back up with the supply store. All good. Once I'm back, you can make more deliveries. You don't even need to visit the store. You can just call me on the phone over there. Oh, that's got to be a big thing for you guys. If you're watching this and you're not, you're under 20 years old, get ready for some reality checks. All right. <laughs> Number one, we never used to have mobile phones. Number what? Number two, that was our mobile phone. Not so mobile, mind you. I mean, it is a phone box concreted into the floor. So the only way you can make a phone call is to put coins, actual coins, in a slot, push the numbers, and then hope that by the time you get through to the person you're phoning, your money hasn't run out. And they also used to smell of piss. And that's because lots of drunk people used to wee in them and keep them in shelter. My mate threw up in one once. That was a good night out. That's a glass bottle. Ooh, hello. What's this? i got a bottle. Oh, no, it's going to break, in it? It didn't break! Oh, my God. Well, that's amazing. All right, it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, all right, so I need, I'm going to need some quick cash. And I think quick cash, we're just going to slam as much, like, scrap into this as possible and just start filling up from this end as well. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do, guys. All right, let's go for a... Should we go for a waddle this way? No, do we have to dig up all these sinks? There's not really much up here, it's just like buried sinks. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep kicking about up here. I'm going to pick up all the... Oh, I, I want to pick up the things that are worth more money. Where's the filing cabinet? Oh, is that one? Okay, that's a drawer. That's, cheap. that's better. Ooh, hello. Smash TV, get in! I love that game, Smash TV, it was amazing. Now I've got Smash TV on my shoulder. It's alright, that. All good in the hood. Right, there we go. Stick that in there. I think we've got enough energy to get, get a few more bits. And what I'm looking at is just cleaning up a little bit up here. So, the joys of, like, trying to live in a better place. Because that's the other thing. Bus trips in this game only cost 10p. I don't ever remember a day when I used to spend 10p on the bus. But I know, like, bus fare when I was younger was a lot cheaper. And then, suddenly, by the time I hit, like, 19, 20, it was, like, seven pound fifty to get a return ticket it was like you gotta be joking and thankfully i got a car but i mean in all fairness cars are still a little bit more expensive than bus but you know who wants to take the bus when it's just full of lots and lots of strange people and old people or other people that don't want to drive you think they're doing something for the environment but then sitting in a tube of other people yeah i'm all right in my own car so metals, metal collecting is pretty, uh, it's, it's legal, you can go off and do it, just make sure you've got permission, instead of the twonks that stole from me. I think I spoke about that in one of my live streams. So what we're doing at the moment is we're collecting scrap metal that's just laying around. This happens quite a lot in the UK, it probably happens in a lot wherever you live. But, there's always value in scrap metal. The problem is that if you steal it from somebody and they sort of watch you do it, it sort of means you're doing it in the wrong place, right? For me, I didn't know the stuff that these people were unloading from the back of my garden, because my garden's communal, so there's a few other people around there. Apparently they were unloading my shed, and uh, yeah, I had all my stuff nicked. But if you're going to do scrap metal, just make sure, one, you've got permission, or two, it's not anybody else's to start with, you know. I used to know a bloke, he used to have loads of leaflets, he used to post them through people's doors, and he always made collections on Sundays, so every time he used to collect stuff, and it was left outside someone's door. They were they, they'd leave their leaflet at their door, or like a to their door. So the stuff on the door was like bookmarked for him. I thought that was a really good way of doing it because then you, at least you know it's bookmarked for you. Hey, we got a cooker. Okay, I'm going to take this back. This is going in the house. It's all good. It's all good. 
We gotta cook. -a. We gotta cook. -a. And actually, it's not that uncommon to find cookers and bits just laying around in the English countryside. All right, I think we're done for today. I think that's this video. I think that's this one done. So it started raining. So what a lovely way to end the day. So the guys, thank you very much for kicking by. This has been Hybrid Still. If you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. I'll be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else I do on this channel. Until then, guys, thank you very much for kicking by. Yeah, and peace out. Have fun. Enjoy everything you guys do. I'll see you on another one. Boom. Fist bump.